Hello, I'm Philip Hinkle, and I'm back again with another advanced tutorial on Mercalli version 4 SAL+. Plus. This tutorial is going to deal with the best border, best stabilization, and forensic views. How to use them, and what kind of information you can get from them that will help you do a better job of stabilizing your video and using the advanced features of Mercalli to do that. So let's take a look at our first clip. I've got a clip of some footage someone sent me flying over a school where they work and as you can see it's been already processed a little bit and cleaned up a whole lot compared to what initially looked like there's the original footage you can see there's some suppress issues and things like that we're not going to deal with that we've already dealt with those in other videos what we want to talk about is this best border option when I turn off best border and turn on best stabilization you can see we're zoomed in a little bit less but you also see this little black border here and you may see hints of it elsewhere as I play the clip through you'll see it bouncing around that's actually showing you the movement that Mercalli is using on your video to make the video stable there's some ways we can fix that if I want to scale it this way let's find a spot where the black is really bad that looks like a pretty bad spot right there I can scale it up and it's essentially doing the same thing as a void border if I do this all the way till it disappears then it's pretty much just like using the avoid border. you can see it only zoomed in a tiny bit more for what it's doing so if I turn off the avoid border I get back to my best stabilization and you can see I have black borders where it is unable to correct past the edges of your video there's an option here called video color filling if I click on that look what happens it kinda cleaned up my video but what did it do it took and it duplicated down here the pixels around it to fill in and try and make it look seamless so what did it do it made an L out of that car it made a corner in our parking lot and up here in this corner and yeah, so the road turned a little bit that one was probably okay not a big deal so watch what happens when we play this through until we hit those bad spots you're probably not going to see much of a difference but you'll be able to see right down here it looks like the video tore there was a tearing or a tearing in the video so that's probably not a real good option on this particular clip because of that problem now if I scaled it on up it'll cover that up and I could use best border and just let Mercalli do it for me so depending on your clip and what you've got around the edges the best stabilization with the video color filling may be the way to go there's one other view I want to show you that's forensic view and the scale will actually help you zoom in and out so you can see what's going on if I turn off video color filling then I lose that graph and we just see the borders this is pretty much the border that Mercalli is going to use if you had the avoid border selected this is how much it's cropped in on your footage so I'm going to turn that back on so we can see what happens and now I'm going to click the play button and you can see how it's moving around and you can see the different types of corrections that will, were needed to make this video stable so maybe you'll want to go back it looks like there's some roll issues going on there and maybe some pan issues you could come back and use your pan smoothing and your roll balance and maybe tweak that a little bit and make that video just a little bit smoother if you wanted to I'm gonna go ahead and turn that forensic view back off and go back to my best border alright let's go to another clip here's a clip from a bike ride that I took and if we play it I'm gonna zoom in a little bit on that you can see I've got the best border turned off and I've got best stabilization turned on okay well let's find those spots where it's pretty bad right about there what happens if we hit the video color filling again okay now we got a crooked power line uh, fix the street down here you can't tell can't really tell anything's going on over here let's um, play it through with the video color filling turned on and you will see in a few spots over here Eh, that doesn't look very good on this particular clip we're probably not going to want to use that so I'm going to turn it off now what I am going to do is I'm going to zoom in a little bit on it anyway and say we zoomed in like that let's see what shows up when I turn off my video color filling if you thought the resolution was still pretty good on there 
and you had an occasional blip like what you've seen down here in the corners. Do you see that? Like right in there. If you felt that this was a pretty good level, and let's check, let's turn on the avoid border. It's pretty close, pretty close to the same amount. Okay, let's scale that up where it was about gone. Now, if perchance this was the good spot, if we turned on video color filling, you can see it fixed my sky and it fixed my street down there. And you would never know that anything was done. And perhaps we save some resolution on that by using that particular option. Again, this is something you'll want to look at your footage. At this particular spot, that option would be pretty good on this clip. However, if I turn it back to best border, you can see it's zoomed in a little less, actually. I've cleaned this up. If I go to best border, I've zoomed in a little bit more. So I've actually used best stabilization and the video color filling to get myself a few extra pixels around the edge. And depending on your project, that extra view might be important depending on your footage. Let's go to our next clip. I've got another clip here of a, that same bike ride on some really bad roads. As you can see, we've already fixed it up. If I turn the view source on, you can see just how bad it was to begin with. So I'm going to turn back the view result, turn on my settings, and let's look at our best border. We can see we don't have any of that ugly black around it. If I turn on best stabilization and hit play, we're going to see some of those black borders show up. And as you can tell on this particular clip, I would probably have to scale that up a lot to get some of those black borders to just be on the edges. What I wanted to show you with this clip, though, is if we have the black in there from the edges, watch up here, I think right about there with our power lines, you can imagine what that's going to do. If I click Video Color Filling, I've now got power lines that have a 90 degree turn in them with no pole to support them. So this particular clip would not be a good candidate to be using the best stabilization on. So I'm just going to flip that back to best border. Okay, one more clip to try out and this is one a friend sent me of some aerial footage he took with his Mobius camera. The footage has already been stabilized and pre-processed so we don't have to worry about it. Um, if we come up here to best border and turn on best stabilization, then you can see we did gain a little bit of resolution back. Okay, well, let's look at our footage. We can see right here by these patterns, this is probably where our problem's going to be in the footage. So we go there. Oh, yeah, look at that. If we use the video color filling, what's going to happen? It's going to clean that edge up there it's probably not too bad but let's see if we can see it when we play through there you can sort of see it it's just the slightest little bit of tear down there will your viewers see it maybe not will you see it you may if you know to look for it but it's pretty well cleaned up down there let's put that back on that bad spot turn off the video color filling let's find that spot there it is right there if we were to scale that up a little more so nobody would really see it, and then we click on Best Border, you can see Best Border zooms in a whole lot more, and according to this suppression, it's going to want to zoom in even more to get rid of it. Now let's go back to Best Stabilization. This was our bad spot. So now we can actually gain some of our resolution back. It's not going to really be seen down here in these trees because it's a common pattern. These houses are just a little bit, and that sky is not going to be a problem. Let's click on Video Color Filling and play our timeline. You can sort of see the tearing at the very end of the clip, but if you were editing with this, you just cut off that last half second or whatever, and your audience will probably not see it. So. In this particular situation, the video color filling might gain us a little bit of extra resolution. See, there is the best border option and the best stabilization, and we get some resolution back. What happens if we look at the forensic view? Let's scale that up so we can see it better. Let's see how our video reacts. Looks like some pan and some roll a little bit. 
So that would give us a hint based on some of those movements what we may want to do back in our settings here to make this video a little bit more stable. That's about all there is to the best stabilization, best border, and forensic view. It's a little insight that will help you analyze what's going on within Mercalli regarding your footage, and then you can use these options to better tune your video once you can use this information to see what is going on. So, till next time, you have a great day.